Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144 Cam Hydrogen Man. Guys, we have a major problem, but before I begin, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to give you a lot of information. I would say stay tuned until the end of the video, watch the whole video through, because I'm going to give you really important information. You really don't want to miss any of this. I think it's personally very important. The first thing I'm going to tell you is I am not giving you any medical advice. I'm not making any medical claims and I'm not making any claims for or against any product or products and everything stated in this video are the opinions of the speaker and should not be construed as claims for or against any product or products. All right, guys, with that being said, I've been noticing a major theme and actually a problem with hydrogen and Brown's gas, primarily more Brown's gas, but even some hydrogen, believe it or not, I'm going to be bringing you even more important information actual lab tests and just some crazy crazy info that i'm about to start bringing your way guys and i believe it's going to blow your mind so stay tuned hit the notification bell because you're going to want to watch this and if you want the algorithm to pick it up you know give it a thumbs up subscribe share i just think this is too important because i think hydrogen's about to take this fork in the road and we're talking about something in my opinion that really if done hydrogen or browns gas incorrectly that we're talking causing major problems with your health, not actually helping you the way that people are thinking that it could potentially help you or potentially actually really help you. And this is going to be really new information, not even information that quote unquote, the experts, people out there, I'm not going to name names, but people out there who really believe that they're experts, they either believe it or they're just straight up lying to everybody. It's one or the other. But I'm going to bring you guys the latest and greatest info that virtually almost nobody has. And so one of the things and the patterns that I've seen so far, and I've seen this for quite some time, I've been contacted by numerous people who have suffered at the hands of Brown's gas, especially Brown's gas. Just remember, they use as lye, sodium hydroxide, and stainless steel metal. This is only the beginning, guys. There is other issues too, including, in my opinion, Again, I'm going to bring actual proof and data later, but right now I'm just saying, in my opinion, no claims on the hydrogen pills, potentially some pretty nasty stuff. Remember, people who recommend them, remember, because they either do it because they don't actually understand or know the long-term ramifications, or they're just doing it on purpose. I'm not going to make any claims. I'm not naming names, and I'm not naming products. I just want the people to be informed, okay? Because the whole reason I created my channel is because I want better for people because I want people to find their health the way that I was able to. Okay, so now um, what's recently happened, and it's not just recent, this has been going on for some time and it just happened again and it's absolutely breaking my heart. I've been noticing a pattern, this one's in regards to Brown's gas again with lye and stainless steel and whatnot. I'm noticing this pattern where people who try to use it for cancer. I know a lot of people who try to claim, you got to be really cautious with the lies out there, claiming that, oh, it did such great things for cancer. You read some random testimonial somewhere. You don't really see actually somebody talking about it. It's just something that was written somewhere on a website, people making claims. I'm not making claims. Now, people who've contacted me, and it's really sad, they noticed an interesting thing that when they would use certain Brown's gas devices, and in my opinion, again, just look at the metal and potential things that they use like the lie, that actually accelerated the cancer. And there is a little bit of research actually in regards to hydrogen potentially making things worse. And I'm starting to uncover the difference between the good hydrogen and the bad hydrogen. And I'll go into detail, but the good news is, is the suggestions that I've been making and the path that I've taken for myself actually appears to be the good stuff. So that's, thank God, hallelujah. If I would have been wrong, I would have gladly told you immediately. But actually, I'm noticing that everything that I've been doing actually has been correct. It has been right. And the stuff that I tried and also got sick from, which was the Brown's gas, and avoided, I'm seeing some terrible things. And just recently, it happened again. And it's really, really breaking my heart here. Because somebody, apparently, just passed away. They used Brown's gas for, and I got this contact. I, I'm, I'll go into details later about how I got this information. And I'm even going to try to do some interviews with some people who have had very bad experiences with it, actually, guys. And what it appears to accelerate the cancer. It appears to make things worse. I even knew somebody, I won't go into names either, who literally has been using this stuff for a long time and got cancer. And so, again, I'm not making claims against any product or products. I'm simply sharing different things that I've been finding out. And I'm going to bring more data your way. What I've learned about hydrogen, don't super focus on super high levels of hydrogen. 
more is not always better, guys. I hope you, this is something even I'm learning. I'm learning the purity of the hydrogen and the way you make it actually really, 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 really matters, guys. I always kind of knew that it did, and now I'm seeing that it matters even more than I had even once anticipated, even to the point where some of the other ones could potentially, again, I'm not making claims, potentially be actually dangerous for your health. And this is just absolutely where it breaks my heart. And then I'm gonna make a video in the future. If you guys want videos on certain things, comment below, because I'm gonna talk about all the different ways to make hydrogen. The ones that in my opinion appear not to be good. And the biggest thing that I'm learning about hydrogen is that I've always learned a lot from nature. Excuse me, it's kind of hot here. I'm sweating a little bit. Um, one of the things that I learned actually is that I observe nature and I try to follow the natural path in regards to like growing food naturally. I don't want GMO stuff. I don't want chemicals all over my food. Same thing goes for the way the water, how to purify water. Nature does it through the process of distillation and on and on it goes. So I've always tried to observe nature and the same thing goes for hydrogen. There is, I don't see Brown's gas in nature, by the way. I, there is a place called Lord's France. It's molecular hydrogen. That's the kind of hydrogen that I use. You're also not going to find plated metal in nature. And that's been the ones that I've been observing the problems with is these coated and plated metals. And they try to tell you that they're all clean and that they're super wonderful. I'm not a fan at all. And there is some really, really crazy information that the reaction between certain metals, chemicals, electricity, how much electricity, uh, directly electrolyzed water, on and on it goes, guys. I will share the best information with you. The good news is, as you guys know, I use the Lourdes Hydrofix Premium, the one, the website's called holyhydrogen.com, number one machine in all of Japan. Luckily, one thing, and, and they've always been way ahead of the game and they did it again, actually, because I didn't really understand this concept. They did everything within their power to make the most natural, not just cleanest hydrogen, which it appears that they make the best and cleanest hydrogen, but also in the most natural way. And, and all the little things that they did, and it's really been amazing. And I think people sometimes focus on the wrong things in regards to hydrogen, even so-called experts, which you have to really watch out for because I've been getting so much inside information, guys. It's actually boggling my mind. Some of the stuff I wish I could share with you guys, but at this time I unfortunately can't, but I will at least tell you what I do. And I always choose to do the best for my health, my body, and that's always what I want for everybody else. So with that being said, I'm just going to keep it at that. Um, if, if I were, I, I won't use Brown's gas. I'll just put it out there. And I will not use anything with plated metal just to make it easy for all the hydrogen followers who want answers. And I will not use anything that has lye in it, okay? And beyond that, I'll leave it at that for now. If you guys want more videos, comment below. I'm going to be bringing you guys a lot of great info very soon. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time on the next one.